everybody and welcome to the elusive frame. In today's video we're gonna talk about... Hi everybody, editor team here and in the elusive frame we're a one-man team. If you get the pun. But in any case, he puts a lot of effort into this video, so press that like button so more people will see it and we'll spread the word out. Let's get back to the video. Oh, hey, what's up? So, this was a cool little neat trick, right? Just let me turn off this light here. I used this little trick in my previous short horror film. It looks really cool and it costs zero dollars to make. You just need a little bit of patience. You need two chairs and you stack them up right in front of the other and place a broomstick on top of them. Then on the broomstick itself you can place clothes, two or four wardrobe stuff will be enough and don't use anything heavy, use something like shirts for example because using coats or sweaters or anything heavy will be A heavy for the broomstick itself and B very hard to move. By the way if you have a Boomer mic like I have right now when I'm using to record my voice you can use that as well. Depends on how sturdy it is just using two chairs can be okay for you. In my case the bed is a bit taller so using the two chairs wasn't enough so I stacked up a few boxes. Then when you have your clothes hanging you just place your camera inside. If you're filming you can just move it and ruffle the clothes a bit or if you're filming yourself just ask a friend to shuffle the clothes for you. I ask my wife. By the way in that short horror story film she actually broke her leg and she had a cast and now she's feeling a whole lot better so thank you again for helping me. The third option which is the least recommended one is to use your hand or a string or some way to move the clothes by yourself which I recommend a lot less because it's much harder. I tried something but it didn't really work out. Just use a friend or a helping hand. In this specific case I placed the camera on a tripod and my wife just shuffled the clothes a bit while I was sitting on the bed. To enhance the effect we need to show the viewer where does the sound come from. Showing an open closet isn't really good because most closets are closed. Even though my wife would argue otherwise, I always leave the doors open but don't close them. In any case, the closet itself needs to start with a closed door and to enhance the effect the door has to open by itself, which adds to the effect of having a ghost watching us from the closet. To do that, place your camera in front of the closet door, but make sure that it doesn't show the top or the bottom, depends where it's easier for you to shove a broomstick and move it. I use the top because gravity helps, it's much easier and that's what I recommend. Take the broomstick and just place it above the door, press it down a bit and just move it again and again. Don't worry, it would take a few tries, it <laughs> took me a whole lot. But it would work and the end result just looks great. You have a closed door which opens up and has a ghost from inside watching us through the clothes and we're turning around watching the ghost and it's great because it doesn't cost anything. Hi everybody and welcome to the elusive frame. In today's video we're gonna talk about... Hi everybody, editor Tim here and in the elusive frame we're a one-man Tim. So if you like this video press that like button so more people will see it and if you're using this effect in your videos link them down below, I wanna see it. I wanna see your variation and see how many cool things you can do. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.